Hello, so today I'm going to test the CDV717 on its spool. So how it's going to work, as you can see, the CDVC's um, iron chamber is basically plugged in on its extension lead, if you want to call it that. Um, I've got the cable reel stretching out probably at least 10 metres. It looks like there's more on there, so I'd say you get at least 15 metres on this reel. You can probably find the exact tech specs uh, for the reel somewhere online. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the camera, or yeah, camera, the Chinese X-ray device um, shooting into the back side of the ionisation chamber there. So obviously you've got the ionisation chamber and it's in its metal case, so that will reduce the softer X-rays getting through. Um, and what we're going to do then is have the camera looking at the actual unit itself and check what the unit says. And then what we'll do quickly afterwards is I'll do a video with the entire thing set up in front of the um, x-ray device and see if the reading's the same because in theory it should be and I want to double check that in case you know the that actually gives you a false reading if you use one or the other so anyway I'll now move the camera back to where I've actually got the CDV717 set up and the remote for the x-ray gun okay so I've just zeroed the CDV in so it says zero now let's go to the 0 0.1 scale which I imagine it will definitely max out and now let's fire off the x-ray device. That was strange, I was expecting a much higher reading than that. But is the needle falling down? Because the x-rays have finished going in and it's not resetting. So that's interesting. Let's um... Just change the scales a couple of times. Right, let's just try giving it another blast again and see if it gets a reading now. So the needle's definitely moving and registering the fact there's ionising radiation. I think it is actually falling back down now. But I was expecting a lot more than that simply because of the fact that, you know, it's point blank next to that device. Unless the back of the case is pretty thick at stopping, um, sort of the softer x-rays from getting through. So let's just re-go back to the zero a bit. And the zero is still showing up on zero. Yep. Right, let's just try it on the times one scale just for argument's sake. See, now that's weird because it's on a different scale now than it was on before. So that should be um, nowhere near as high, because if that's going to two ronk and there, that should have maxed out the previous scale. So let's just go down again one scale, in case I somehow didn't have it on it properly before, and try again. Right, interesting. I'm assuming the 0.1 ronk and scale isn't calibrated properly, or it's just not got enough power going to it, because obviously... It gets less of a reading on that than it had on the times one scale. So now let's go to the times ten scale, and in theory we should get, um, you know, you shouldn't see the needle move too much on this one if it got to two on the times one scale. Right. I'm assuming then it's a calibration problem, because um, that did what I'd expect. So what I'm just going to do is stop the camera, turn up the sensitivity of the 0.1 scale, and see if it then does more what we'd expect. You know, go off scale on 0.1, and then, um, you know, because obviously I'm only going to be playing with the bottom scale, so that should in theory do it. So let me just do that, and then I'll be back. Right, I've played with the calibration a bit, and I've turned the... Um, Basically, the 0.1 scale was nearly at zero on this, so that probably meant that it just wasn't getting enough power. So let's try it again now. As you can see, the needle's going up a bit more than it should from the zero, but we'll just ignore that because it, on a lot of these, on the smallest scale below one there, I'm not meant to give an accurate reading. So let's try it. Now, that's more like what you'd actually expect to see. So off scale on that one, it's quite a slow needle on this. I wonder if it's the cable that affects the needle speed. Because obviously on the CDV720 the needle shoots right across when you um, blast it. Uh, but that's beta sensitive as well, so the softer x-rays get through. So what I'm going to do now is stop the video, 
reel in the cable and then I'm going to assemble this um, in the exact same position it's in but um, obviously as a unit where the ionisation chamber is plugged directly into the unit not running off a cable and we'll see if that affects the sensitivity at all Right, apologies, this is going to be a bit off kilter because um, I can't get it to work any other way so let's zoom in there, we're on the 0.1 scale um, you might see the needle moving a bit. If I zero it up at all, it tends to go a bit over the top. So, um, oh, you can see the air, is, is, that's interesting. You can see the needles moving around a bit without me touching anything. Anyway, let's use the x-ray machine and see what happens. Right, that did what I'd expect it to do the first time. So, when that finishes, I'll put it on to the next scale. Right, it's now set to the times one scale. Uh, it's about 3.5 Rontgen, funnily enough. Going to 3.6 Rontgen. Ah, it's climbing to 4 now. Let's just repeat that and see if the numbers do the same thing. About 4.5 that time. Uh, getting closer to 5. Let's just repeat it again because that was the only time it's, um, you know, got a number. In a sense, that time it's going pretty much off scale. Right, so that in theory means 50 Rontgen, uh, sorry, 5 Rontgen. So let's put on the times 10 scale and see where it goes up to. Right, we're now on the times 10 scale, so 0 to 50 Rontgen. So it reckons it's about 10 Rontgen, assuming that's correct. When it drops down, I'll redo it. Yeah, so I guess we've found where it's um, most accurate, 10 to 11 Rontgen. So what I would assume is that you might have to have this recalibrated if you're using it on the cable system and not the actual um, ionisation chamber plug straight in system. So obviously I assume the cable reel means it loses sensitivity because it's obviously got a longer um, reel of cable. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so the CDV717, what have we found out from this video? Well, if you're using it on the cable you get very different results and if it's getting blasted point blank, um, you know, with the actual stuff in there. Although I suppose some of the electronics are more likely to be messing up due to x-rays, but the actual the case, saying that the case on the CDV is uh, very good, so that should, you know, shield it completely because it's an aluminium case, so um, that shouldn't be causing, you know, electronic interference that way. But there you go, so um, CDV717, they're pretty cool in, um, you know, design, but it seems they might actually, you know, need to be recalibrated you know, if you're using it in the portable mode or the um, fallout shelter mode, where your average person is going to have no clue of doing that, who these were supposed to be issued with. So, um, yeah, I guess that's a bit of a design flaw.